This is Dalia Monet, and I'm here reporting live from Dalia Monet Studios, and I'm here with a very important message for you guys. In 2021, we are no longer paying to get our hair done. Operation Save Your Coin. So I suggest you ladies tap that subscribe button so I can get you prepared. Back to you, Chad. Welcome back to my channel. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to the family. We're so happy to have you. For today's video, I'll be doing a short passion twist tutorial. I'm actually going to show you guys two different techniques. One is a crochet method and the other is a non-crochet method. I actually think that the crochet method is easier. However, I like the results of the non-crochet method better. So you can be the judge of which one you like more, but I definitely have some options for you guys. And actually the hair that I'm using today is from an Amazon hair company called Weave Master. So you know if you need your hair real quick for the week, Weekend, put that joint on prime and you're gonna be straight but I have all the details about the hair company later in the video but for now let's get into it all right guys so for today's look we're going to be using weave master hair this is what the packaging looks like they sent me this hair to review it's their passion twist it's 10 inches and it's pre looped and pre twisted I'll show you the exact texture in a minute um, and I got the color 1b but all the details will be down below and they even included a little crochet needle, so cute, because you can never have too many crochet needles. So this is what the hair looks like. Like I said, you get 12 strands in each pack. And like I said, they're already 10 inches, so it's perfect for a bob length, because that's the style that we're going for today. And yeah, nice and shiny. Gotta do the sniff test. Smells good, don't smell like fish or feet, like some of these companies. So yeah, let's install it. Okay, so I've already gone ahead off camera and pre-sectioned the majority of my hair. Um, I just, you know, pre-parted it and then added rubber bands at the base. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my technique, though, for this last section up here. But first and foremost, I want to make sure we hydrate our rubber bands. I learned this technique from Naturally Sunny on YouTube. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and take this hair food. I think I got this from um, Dollar General. But yeah, it's really bootleg. I'm using an old um, phone case, but it's gonna go ahead and saturate all of that. Just cause you know, we're already putting tension on our hair. So we wanna try to make sure we're retaining as much moisture as possible. So it's just an extra little step we can take. Our shine and jam, handy dandy. And try to like, I kinda already pre-parted it, but like, Put some of shiny jam on there to make the part more defined. And then we can go ahead and like go back through it. And brush, we'll comb. And make sure you leave your babies out, baby hairs, natural babies. Leave your baby hairs out, cause you know you're gonna wanna style those later. Don't want it to look like you don't have no edges, sis. So now I'm going in with one of my moisturized rubber bands. And I'm just gonna put all of this hair into the section. Get yeah, like, and it's pretty like literally just self-explanatory. Just put the rubber band on. I try to only go about three or four times. You want to make sure it's secure, but at the same time, you don't want to want, don't want it to be too tight because, like I said, it can cause tension on your roots. So I was trying to be like the fancy YouTubers and do my first twist on camera, but honey boo, it was a L. So I had to go regroup and get my technique down, and now I'm back. So I'm just going ahead and undoing the twist, and I'm just going to go ahead and fluff it out a little bit. This is going to help our twist get that volume that we want. And that's what it should look like when you're finished. So now I'm just adding some shine and jam to my natural hair to prep for the twist. So this is actually going to be the braid in method, but it is non-crochet. So we're just going to anchor on the hair to our rubber band. And we're just going to start braiding like you would a box braid, but you're going to treat your um, natural hair as the third strand. And I do have a knotless braids video that kind of helps break down adding hair in if you want to check that out. But it's pretty simple. Like I said, just focus on using that um, your natural hair as a third strand. And I just keep braiding until my natural hair ends up in the middle again. And I'm just going to split it into two to prep for my twist. And I just want to make sure I'm twisting in the right direction. That's why yeah, I was like playing with the hair a little bit. And then it's going to start twisting like normal. And it's going to do that all the way down. So 
So this is what the hair looks like once I twisted it all the way down. This is its true length. It was longer than I expected. So I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit shorter. So I'm going ahead and adding a rubber band to where I'm going to cut it. And I'm just going to cut in a diagonal pattern just to make it not too blunt. And voila! Alright, so for technique number two, like I said, I do think this technique is easier, but I like the results of the other one better. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. I'm just going ahead and twisting the middle of the hair just to make it easier to put on the crochet needle. Go ahead and put your crochet needle, <laughs> can't talk, underneath your rubber band. And then you're just going to put the hair on, close the latch, pull it through, and pull it so that each strand is equal on each side. So with everything else in one hand, I'm taking one strand of the crochet hair and wrapping it around twice, kind of similar to how you would for a faux lock. This is just going to help cover our rubber band. And then I'm going to go ahead and split my hair into two and then literally just twist as normal all the way down. Like I said, it's pretty simple compared to the other one. And just FYI, the twist that you see um, on the row that I'm working on now, those are all using the same method, but I did end up taking them out and doing the other method for my final look. And now I'm just going to show you guys the braiding method one more time, just so that you can get it down. The hardest part is going to be adding the hair, but I promise you it's easier than it looks. It's honestly easier than doing knotless braids. Just anchor the um, crochet, hair, crochet hair. Why can't I say crochet today? The crochet hair onto your natural hair and then literally just start braiding. But just make sure that you keep it tight at the base so that it doesn't loosen up or um, slide off. Because that's what y'all saw me do in the very beginning. So make sure you keep that tension while you're doing it. And just keep braiding until you get that natural hair in the middle again. So now, as you can see, all the twists on this row are using the braided method that I just showed you guys. And I just think it makes it look really clean. So now I'm just going in with my Dro Grow um, hair oil. I'm just going to oil my scalp a little bit. And then I'm going to also go in with my Cream of Nature Shine and Mousse. Just to help lay away any flyaways and give it a little bit of shine. And can I get a hand clap for these parts in the back of my head though? Okay, get into it. Period. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned some things and enjoyed the video. Please let me know if you tried this style down below in the comments. I have a total of 44 twists in my head. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little nervous that I was gonna run out of hair um, cause I'd have a really big head. So I made sure I did big sections, but I didn't even come close to running out of hair. So shout out to Weave Master. So yeah, I really appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure you like this video, comment and subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so that you can know every time I post a video. All right, love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye. Was that went cute? No, not really.